this place like we own this place we walk around what's going on guys i'm gonna go through everything that is new for gta 5 expanded and enhanced and there may be some things you have missed quick word from today's sponsor Yo, what's up guys? Are you guys looking for money and RP services in GTA Online? Check out this site guys, they're absolutely insane. Aurora Resupply, link is in the description. You can even grab yourself a modded account. Check it out guys, let's get it. So now we have a new introduction menu to GTA Online. And as you saw there, I just clicked on the vehicles. So there is a tab. Uh, where you can just select the vehicles to just basically look at the vehicles and um, all the other features on that screen pretty much do the same thing uh, what it does is it actually puts you into a session anyway a public session um, you know you can just go straight to free mode now from the main menu and it will put you in a public session but the, from there you can like go to create or then an invite only session um, but yeah there's many ways to get into online now so say it's, it's not you know it's buggy one day you could try and get in a different way by selecting vehicles now when you do select the vehicles like I just did it will actually load you sh directly into online with the there we there we go I, as I loaded in it automatically brings up the legendary motorsport where you can buy vehicles now it's a it's you know it's nothing huge but it's, it's a pretty cool way of getting into GTA online um, it just gives us that new feel to the game and as soon as you load on, you can see the graphics. Don't get me wrong, guys. You can see a ton more uh, when you're actually playing on next gen. I did go through that on my last live stream. Um, the, the, the videos did deceive me until I played. I was like, there's no difference. But when I played myself, I was amazed. They've done a good job on the enhancement. Now, I play on Performance RT, which is ray tracing. Um, this is the best graphics for me for Xbox Series X. Um, if you use just performance, uh, I believe that one you only play at like 35 FPS, so it's not a great one. So I would either use performance RT or fidelity. Fidelity is really good. It gives you higher, it gives you higher FPS, 65 FPS, but everything else looks a bit more grittier than it does on performance RT. So I would definitely stick with performance RT, especially on the Xbox Series X. Maybe it's probably the best one for PlayStation 5, but I cannot confirm that. If any of you guys can, comment down below. Next up, if you go onto your interaction menu, you can see the option Map Blip Options. Now, this is a really cool feature. I really like this feature. Now, I won't go too into detail, but you can see it. You know, series that is located all around your map, you can actually hide it now. I mean, we, I've been playing nine years, and it's horrible to see so many things on the map that I do not use. Now these sort of things you kind of want to keep on the map. Um, same with other stores and you know like ammunition and stuff like that. You, you want to keep them on the map. And this is businesses. Like, this is your actual businesses. So if there's a business you do not touch like a MC business or your hangar or anything like that you can just hide it and it just puts your mind at peace. Um, it really does. It feels like you can really customize your own map. And this very bottom one is my favorite one. Now, there's a lot of mode um, events that are start in public sessions, and it automatically put, makes you a part of it. Now, that's annoying because it can restrict you from doing other things, not everything, but some things. And you can actually hide it. So, you know, the, the event where it'll just start and you've got to fly through all these hoops, you know ones you just don't like you can hide and when you hide it because it's an event it won't actually trigger for you as you know it will not include you in that event when it's going on i think that alone is an amazing feature for gta 5 expanded and enhanced so hats off to rockstar there i'm shocked i've said that but some of the features are really cool especially the enhancement um if you, you know the enhancement is amazing guys i'm not kidding this one here, guys, I mean, this is amazing. When you complete the first time trial for HAL, you know, HAL and his new workshop, if you complete his first time trial, you can unlock the ability to purchase your friend's vehicles. Now, I've just purchased this vehicle from my friend, and boom, I'll put it into my garage. It is now mine. And you keep everything. He has a Yankton plate on his car. I've now got that Yankton plate on the car I just purchased from him. 
Now, he has a customized plate. When you get it, you will have a clean generic pl Rockstar plate, but you will also keep the Yankton plate. So technically, it's a clean Yankton plate. Pretty awesome. And there we go. This is my car. I called it out. And as you see, it's a new generic plate, but it's still a Yankton plate. I'm loving this update. <laughs> I, I, I am. The, the I mean, I would have loved more content, but maybe a map expansion, but I'm happy. Um, chameleon colors, uh, I'm using these for all my vehicles at the moment. And the great thing is you can actually use these colors on every single vehicle in the game. Well, any vehicle that you can bring into LS car meet. And is that, it's absolutely amazing. And the fact that you can use these colors for a secondary color as well, just makes your ride look even better. And yeah, pretty cool. So if you're on next gen, obviously check those out if you haven't already. And here are how I, we'll, I think his name is pronounced how um, I think I was saying it wrong before but there that what I was just hovering over that was a how race series so he's actually got a race series and this one here is how's time trials and they're actually really good to do some of them can be quite long up to like eight minutes and um, but they're really fun to do um, yeah and also we have new I just call them speed mods because um, they technically are um, but there we go um, house performance upgrades and look at that we now have two bars for the acceleration and it will obviously be uh, improved in the near future as well and obviously doing all these actually increases the top speed of the vehicles in the game and on top of that you can actually increase the engine size and that even further so as you see here we have house brakes and the brakes are amazing and they actually do make a difference and here we go house engine upgrade so we can further the engine upgrade on top of the original house upgrade that we purchased at the very top for like a million i believe it is it's around that pricing and we're just scrolling through to see what else we can add um which is uh house performance mods and there we go suspension so extra suspension and um, even the transmission look at that you know we're a bar and a half on this car and this car is definitely not the, one of the fastest in the game and look at turbo we normally could only go up by one with turbo we now have four four options in well three options in total and it's incredible it is absolutely incredible the speed is ridiculous um i will be releasing more videos on the other vehicles that have these upgrades um i, ha I have just recorded doing it with the uh, hakuchi drag and it's just absolutely ridiculous because it was fast anyway. So with these speed mods, it's cra there's not enough road in the game to see its full speed. That's that's all I'm saying. And obviously here we are. We This is the uh, vehicle I was just driving. These are new vehicles added to next gen. This one here is a really nice looking car, but it's electric. I'm not a fan. Um, Southern San Andreas, we've got the Karen. This could be the fastest car on next gen. The Karen could be. Um, this one I've not actually customized yet. Um, I'd imagine we can make it look better but that Karen S95 unbelievable absolutely unbelievable and on Warstock you can get the Ignis uh, which is weaponized with the gun on top uh, 3.2 million and you can also put the speed mods all, the, all of Hal's performance mods you can put onto this car as well and it's an absolute beast it is an absolute animal of a car and the acceleration is it's cr I don't even know the word. It is crazy. You are just you're like an airplane. You a jet. You're just gone. It is so good, guys. Honestly. And yeah, moving on. So the nightclub. This is just um a bit of information for you guys quickly. All right, guys. I'm not going to read it all, but here it basically says how biker cell missions will now be paying out more, as well as you will be receiving even more daily income for the nightclub. Now I can break that down for you guys and we do you remember that little trick we used to do with a popularity to get a popularity full without actually doing any missions I'll show you how to do that in this video um, but don't do it through the main computer in your nightclub level um, I've only got two DJs unlocked but when you do change it it will do a cutscene um, and we don't want that so I'll skip ahead and all you need to do is go to a computer on a different nightclub level like down in the uh, storage areas and there's computers and if you go onto them computers you can actually fill up your popularity in just seconds and it costs you ten thousand uh, ten thousand dollars each time but that's what I was getting into and um, the nightclub 
popularity payouts, daily pay, uh, payouts, um, is insane now. It's gone from ten thousand dollars to fifty thousand dollars, and you will get that every day, um, as long as your popularity is higher at your nightclub. And I'm showing you how to do that now. So the DJs you have unlocked, you just want to keep buying them, it's ten thousand each time. But it is now worth it because of the income we get f uh, daily for the nightclub. So you just keep buying them keep buying them and you just take a guess you do it about eight to ten times and it should fill up your popularity but all you need to do is come off the computer after you've bought the DJs about ten times and boom there you go so it pretty much filled up I just need to do it like two more times so we'll purchase him and then we'll purchase that one and boom we'll come off again go back on and it should be full now and having your popularity completely full you will guarantee get fifty thousand dollars a day in GTA Online that is very, very good to know. Um, so we used to just get $10,000 a day, which made this popularity trick not worth it because it costs 10000 to hire a DJ. So if we do the popularity, and you don't need to do the popularity every day. You wait for it to empty. So then you are actually profiting money. So it is good to know. And there has been a 25% increase on all MC payouts permanently on next gen. Now, that is pretty good. Um, I think that is really good, actually. And especially when it goes on double, you're going to earn some serious cash working for your MC. And that is all MC businesses. So, yeah, there's a few features here that I know a lot of players won't know about. And, I mean, I could have missed something, but I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. But that is everything I know so far and that you guys should know. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. <laughs>